Welcome to the tarot table. This is the Soulwood Shaman. And today's day is going to be about uh, gift giving, receiving. Santa is real. I have this hat on because the wise men followed the stars. <clears throat> They followed the star. I'm always going to take a picture outside today because Venus is up there right now in the south and very bright. Almost like that is what the wise men followed to find Jesus in the manger on this day. This is the epiphany. This is the, uh, like the faith that you follow is true it's your intuition it's what you know it's um the gift that you have within yourself that you give to yourself and uh it's amazing that uh it's snowing here i live in maine yeah so we're blessed with some snow it got warmer the pond hockey is good around here these days everything's great um, gonna have some fireball because I am the sword shaman. It goes with the name. It's bottled right here in Lewiston, 20 miles down the road for me. Uh, entertainment purposes only is this video. Uh, the word shaman. There's a lot behind that one word um, that I've, I'm 41 years old, so, and I'm still learning every single day. You know, the gifts, the gifts that I receive, the gifts I give, the um, gifts that I've piled up that I'm, I'm still discovering and being like, what? The gifts that I've been giving. Is helping me in the balance of being in freedom. So this year I got this gift of a Santa hat from Star Wars. Right? Follow the star. Twenty twenty-four, right here already, and uh, it's a gift to all of us. Uh, Venus is rising high, bright in the morning. In the next few weeks, Mercury. You're going to be able to see Mercury on the southern horizon too. Uh, especially if you're on a hill. Somewhere to be able to look southeast. Mercury is going to be there. Mars is coming back to our uh, field of view. Uh, which has been, gone, uh, been in the sun shadow or the earth shadow for... Quite some years, or quite some time, uh, but it's it's making its way back into our, you know, like uh, and Jupiter right now is following all, following across the sky with all the constellations. It's so beautiful. It's so bright. Mm. Um, Saturn is uh, setting in the west right now, off to, but the rings. If you get a telescope out there, the rings of Saturn are like parallel to our vision right now. So, a binoculars, a telescope, I think it's something like all you need is like 30 times magnification. You can see that. But it's going to be right at sunset from a high point looking west. You want to be there. Uh, Dude, like the gifts that the universe gives us. The epiphany. Um, I find that referencing my father's almanac. Yeah. What does it say right here? What is it? The 6th of January. So it's been two weeks since Christmas. Or, uh, what, 12 days. Oh, that's just...
it mentions that now that the, now the days are getting longer at a cock stride. So you know how you chicken is starting to get back out in the yard. Just you know, one step here, one step there. It shows you on this side of the page uh what what time the sun set rises in your day and sets in your day. And, the length of time it is so yeah we're it's one minute a day of daylight that's a lot you know we're, we're getting an extra minute every day of daylight oh, beautiful and towards the end of the month um it's some of these days you get three or four more minutes a day Farmer's Almanac. Thank you so much. So I wanted, so including the gifts and uh, the elements that we have in life. The essentials, you know, the wise men brought, what, what did they bring? Like, I would say um, valuable gifts. They brought elements. <clears throat> so I wanted to say thank you. And um, pull an animal card from the animal oracle. Um, well, let's pull one, one card to show the gifts that we give this year. And thanks. And then one card for how do we show thanks for the gifts that we receive? Epiphany. Yeah. Well, Little Jesus in the manger right now. Three three wise old guys show up. They probably have a team of animals and stuff. So, all right, isn't that part of the story? They give gifts. Jesus is like. <laughs> Don't even know a word yet. Still just jiggling in the manger. So card card one is gonna be what? Well, how do we receive gifts this year? And then card number two is gonna be how do we give gifts this year? Well, animals gonna help us with that. It's a good shuffle, I think. Yo, whale spirit. Dude, the train is rolling by right now. I'm blessed enough to live next to a train track. And Supposed to come through at three o'clock every day. Sometimes it comes through at three fifteen. Uh, look at this, the whale spirit energy. I know that uh, the designer of this deck totally w went for the image, not for what you see in pictures, not for um, how how you've been shown the animal, but this is how the animal is in the spirit. And look, it's. Um, solid bones, strength. It's, it swims with his mouth open, you know, like the abund, like to to receive abundance, to to learn how to be able to receive gifts in life, and follow follow your nose to schools and schools of abundance. Wow. Whale spirit. Another cool thing. 
I thought right away. I, I you know, for New Year's Eve, uh, you know, one of the old traditions up here is you sell some Chinese food appetizers. You know, you're going to be snacking all night. You know, you're going to be feeling good. So, look yourself up. So, you know, one of my buddies brought me to the best place I know. We drove, we drove 30 miles there and back to get this. It was so good. And this is the Forch cookie. That came, that was with it. Even the greatest of whales is helpless in the middle of a desert. W G F I M H O. Lucky numbers we got was 16, 11, 22, 56, 19, 45. Wow. See, 11, 11, 22, that's 11, 11, 11 to me. And then 56 to be after that, which is, is 5 plus 6 is 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. <laughs> What? Well, card. Oh my gosh. From the Call It Baron Reed deck. Animal Oracle. The Spirit Animal Oracle. Wow. I don't even know. Whale is going to go over here and hug Otter Mitch for a little bit. You know Otter Mitch. Oh, I just hit the mirror a little bit in the deep sea. Wow. The deep sea. Amazing. I always wonder why I put a mirror on the table. The fortune cookie. This day, the epiphany. Because we're talking about gifts, we gotta do a unicorn card. This is one of the elements on the tarot table. It's a pong. I don't know. Some snow plow pushed it in front of my path one day, and I found it. And my, one of my friends was like, "They haven't had these since whenever." I don't even know what it was. It was like it's a pretty cool gold coin. It's going on the tarot table. Same said friend. Uh, gave me this gift for Christmas. It's a Christmas tree and a bouncy ball. So we'll also pretend like uh, if we get to a point where we need to look into a crystal ball or something. It's going in the gift box. So I got a gift box from my friend that gave me gift. That was so nicely wrapped and packaged and special, surprising, uh, like all the things that Epiphany is about. This is the day that the gifts come through. It's a day for grace, gratefulness. I love you. It loves you. It loves it too. It's going to be all about that. Because it really is. The Sword Shaman world. Following the star. Well, I shuffle this deck right here. I'll tell you, I've. The only Star Wars movies that I've seen. Or. Like at any full length, or to try to understand what happened in the Star Wars well, movie trilogy or whatever is whatever I've heard from everybody else. And the fact that I've only seen the Family Guy, and if I was a member, if I was a character in Star Wars, I would be Han Solo. 
answer that. I've not even seen it. I'm doing the real. So our unicorn gift today is exactly what I would want for us all to have. How to give gifts to the world. How to share. I see, I, I, I figured I, I, I would, um, some of these cards I've got a little dusty, you know. Um, so I figured I'd shine them up sometimes before I show them. And this is one technique that I'm learning to put out some good content, you know. Yeah. I just saw me. I look cool. I feel good. And the gift I'm going to give this year is the gift of wonder. That's what I can give for free. That's what I can give every day. That's that's what I can give. That's that's what this tarot table is all about. It's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder. And when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better. It's theater. Something de delightful happens. I can shout, Encore! And be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad. I got a ticket to the show. That's the affirmation. Here's our wheel card. Abundance, yo. We can just give abundance to the world by making our dreams come true, following our nose. Keep, keep your senses open. Migrate. Go with the flow. Be with the changes. It's going to be an awesome year full of a lot of awesome things. And this is the first time we've gotten to celebrate this. The epiphany, you know, this is this is when Christmas began. So they realized, like Santa Israel, you know, uh, Israel oh. is Israel. I was thinking about that the other day. I don't know why. It is real. We are real. This is where gifts come from. This is where we learn how to share. That magic is real. And, uh, yeah, I grew up in South Boston. I live in Maine, so I, I um, went through Sacred Heart. You know, I grew up Catholic. Um, but, I'm, you know, I feel like, you know, that would... I believe in so much that, you know, that was a good little stepping stone into, you know, and I, and I believe it. I believe religion is there and I believe God shows himself in so many different ways to everybody and you even though we might connect to a collective one there's there is one inside you there's one that you know um, I feel like uh, the gift that God gives us is he, he just um, wants us to be comfortable with however we feel comfortable with his energy or the energy or and I believe in them all I don't know I get maybe there's a name for it I don't know I don't believe in you know at all or anything I just have one truth inside me that um no matter who I've talked to in my life, I haven't denied. And it's beautiful, it's alive, and I'm happy to share it with my tribe. The sore word.
Shaman. Hey, thank you for this beautiful morning. And may a blessed day be for you. Two week old, 10 pound. Not even know a word yet. Baby Jesus in a manger. Just receiving blessings and gifts and try, trying to be all good about. Mm. Trying to be all good about being able to give. Oh, yeah, that was that one card. I, did, well, I was going to do two cards. So. The second card, our giving card, is the most spirit. You know, everything, everything, everything in the world, in the entire world. It's nice. It was probably the first animal baby Jesus saw in his manger. It was probably Jesus' first pet. Nice. This is 10 to the small things. So with the will card energy, I felt both energies, give and receiving, all in one card. So we get that bonus second card I was talking about. Be the, the my spirit. Littlest things you do, the littlest, tiniest things that you do, being true to you, is a gift to the universe. It loves that too. Namaste, y'all.